So as the Leaving Cert maths paper is fast approaching, this is just a short video which will just break down the layout of the new paper, some of the changes which are taking effect, uh, the structure of the paper, how to time yourself, how long should you give per question in section A and section B, and some basic tips that you should look out for when you're doing your maths paper. So that's what we're going to have a look at here now. So as you know, paper one takes place on Friday the 11th at 2 until 4.30 in the afternoon, and paper two takes place Monday the 14th in the morning from 9.30 to 12. So both papers are two and a half hours. That's ordinary and higher level. So this screen you've probably seen throughout the last couple of months in school. It's just outlining some of the exam paper changes in maths at higher and ordinary level. Previously to now, as you know, at both ordinary and higher, you had to complete all questions in your exam paper. You were never given a choice. Whereas now we do. So they say for all four of these papers, so that's paper one and paper two, um, section A has six questions, same as ever, but you only have to uh, carry out four of these questions. So you have a choice, basically. You're given six, carry out four, and each question is equally marked at 30 marks each. In the section B, the long section, you are given four questions now. You don't have to complete each one of them. You only have to complete two of them. And each of the two questions is worth 50 marks. So in other words, you have four uh, questions in section A to complete, adding up to a total of 120 marks. So that's your four thirties. And in section B, you have two questions to complete, both worth 50 marks, which is a total of 100 marks. So adding that together, each paper is worth 220 marks. Previously, is worth 300 marks. So the question layouts hopefully are going to be the same, but that's the structure of the exam. It's up to you whether you want to just carry out the four out of the six and the two out of the four in section B, or do you want to take on that extra question? If you are just doing the four out of six and two out of four, let's have a look at sort of the time you should allow yourself per question. So these are just suggested timings. Um, what I would do is I'd allow yourself approximately seven minutes to kind of read over the paper, pick out the four questions in section A and the two questions in section B that you want to take on. Perhaps you need to give yourself a little bit more time than seven minutes. But you will see then at the end, I would leave myself about 15 minutes then to look back over the paper. Make sure that you have your units in, like your centimeters squares, because you can always lose a mark for that. Your decimal places are rounded correctly. Things like that, that you haven't left any blanks. So you're leaving yourself about 22 minutes there to read over the paper, picking your questions and checking back over it at the end. That then leaves us roughly about 17 to 18 minutes, about 17 and a half minutes per 30 mark question. Now this is if you're doing just four of the six questions in section A. So about 17, 17 and a half minutes. Previously, you were leaving yourself about 13 minutes um, in the old system. Uh, then for a 50 mark question in your section B on both papers, this is paper one and paper two, about 29 minutes. So that's 29 minutes per question. So just shy of an hour to complete the section B. So uh, that's taking up about your two and a half hours per paper. Now again, these are just optional times that I've listed out. Uh, perhaps you have something different and that's fine. It's all got to do with uh, what suits you best. Finally, in this short video, I just wanna go through a few notes. Some very basic things just to watch out for on the day of your leaving cert maths. Um, they're very simple. Uh, first of all there, don't do any calculations in your head. Leave that for another day. Do them on your calculator. You, this isn't the day for making those small little mistakes. Don't rub things out or tip X things out. Just put a line through it, strike it. Uh, the examiner might want to find something you have there on the page. So best not to rub your main work out. Again, always show all of your work at the front of your exam paper. It'll say marks will be lost if you don't show your workings. Uh, for your constructions, Make sure that you show all of your workings with your constructions. Don't rub anything out with your constructions. Basic enough, your teacher's probably uh, used to saying it to you, don't leave any blanks. Always make an educated guess. Put something down into the box. So important to keep an eye on the clock. Uh, put a watch on your desk, perhaps. You always have to keep in mind your time. Some questions are marked different. So you might think a question is hard. Don't waste all of your precious time on that question because it might be uh, marked a lot easier. Uh, go through a marking scheme. Uh, open up educations.ie, your SAEC will have some marking schemes there to have a look at. 
always pay attention to the basics, your units, your rounding, things like that. If it helps, highlight or underline words, the key words in a question, something like the 95% confidence intervals or margin of error, things like that that will trigger your mind. Don't overcomplicate questions. Always look for the obvious route out of it. Sometimes the answer is staring at you. It mightn't be as complicated as you think. Uh, if you're using your Casio calculator, just make sure it works. Uh, make sure that you've reset your calculator before you go in and you know how to reset your calculator. Uh, if you check out Tolamax, you'll see a lot of um, videos there on how to use your calculator for mean, standard deviation, correlation coefficients, all of that sort of stuff and resetting your calculator. Make sure you clear all of your settings on your calculator if you're tackling the statistics question uh, because you don't want to pre-save data on your, um, on your calculator. Sketching will always help. Um, mark information onto your sketches. You might get marks for writing in some information correctly. So sketching will always help. Label the diagrams if they give it to you on the exam paper. Look, common sense, but don't leave early. You'll always find something, whether it's that tiny little thing, to get that extra mark that can push you up a grade. Uh, don't get bogged down on a particular part of a question. Move on. Uh, build confidence. Don't always... Uh, try and solve that problem. If you come back to it with a fresh head, it might work out better for you. Always explain your answers if you have to give a reason. So don't just write down the answer, make sure you give a reason. And always contextualize it, make it linked to the question. Uh, simple enough, but don't try and invent the wheel. All questions will be linked to what you've studied in class. If you haven't used a formula in your log tables, more than likely you don't have to use it on the day of your leaving cert. So always stick to the foundations that you've learned over the course of your schooling. Um, before your exams, look through your log tables, be familiar with what is in your log tables and what's not. Uh, your log tables will be given to you on the day of the exams, but you do need to bring your own calculator and math set. Have everything ready on your desk before you start your Leaving Cert exam. Don't be waiting for the exam paper to be put on your desk and then you start go rooting for your calculator or your pencil or whatever it may be. Have them out on your desk, ready to go. There's plenty of paper, so ask the examiner if you need additional graph paper, maths paper. At the back of your booklet, there will be that extra paper there for doing work. Just make sure, write the question number on it. At this point, I'll just make sure that you bring your blue and black biro. Um, I would use a Bic pen because it's much quicker to write with. Trust me, I've done plenty of maths exams in my time and I find it's the best pen and smoothest pen on your hand and your wrist. Avoid pencils, as you know, because your paper is going to be scanned. Um, you can use your pencils for your graphs and so on, but the supervisor intend, superintendent will tell you this on the day. But you can use it for graphs, just make sure it's a good, solid pencil. Don't be afraid to ask the superintendent for stuff, whether that's paper, log tables, things like that. Don't be waiting for someone else to ask. It's your exam. Be confident and ask. Be confident in your ability. Trust yourself. If you think it's the answer, put it down. Don't think that uh, um, it's not the answer. Trust your ability. Go with your instinct. All your teachers will probably say this. Drink plenty of water. Attention loss due to dehydration. It's so, so important that you drink water. Not your Red Bulls, your Lucas A's, whatever it is. Get plenty of liquid into you before the exam. And as we come to the end here, attempt marks, attempt marks, attempt marks. They're so important. Make sure you try every question, put something down on paper, make it relevant to the question. And look, easy, easier said than done, but try not to panic. It's in there. You have it all. You've covered all the material. You just go in and do your best. And best of luck to you all taking the Leaving Cert.